All right, all right, all right, all right. What is up, people from the drinking community, from the alcohol lovers to the liquid suckers to chicks that swallow? Because we all know spitters, they're fucking quitters, and no one likes any of those. But today, we don't got a spitter. We got a swallower. Not just any swallower. A craft brewed beer. Not just any beer. Innis and Gun Gunpowder IPA loaded with citrus hops straight from it says crafted in Scotland. So this is a Scottish Shrek, it's all ogre fucking smash mouth in your mouth. Hey now you're an all-star kind of fucking beer. It's gonna hit you. Now I fucking hate IPAs. I'm not a fan of IPA because it's usually not filtered and they're fucking strong as a fucking rhinoceros dick in your mouth. It's like a rhinoceros is going to shove a cock in your mouth. Kind of beer. And you know, this uh, both sides basically have the same fucking logo and nothing much happening with this uh, gunpowder beer, but this is a Scottish gunpowder IPA beer. But I have hope for it because this is citrus, so it might actually taste okay. And from the looks of it, it's just made in Edinburgh, Scotland. It's a product of Scotland. It's a strong beer. And nothing else, no other description on it. It just says it's a craft beer from Scotland. It says gunpowder IPA is an explosion of armorous from Cascade, Centennial, and Meridian hops. Think orange, grapefruit, and pine turned up to 11. Its fully charged, hoppy character is perfectly balanced by a sweetness from the Munich malt. We've spent more than a decade perfecting our craft. Find out how at in in this ingen to come. So, uh, let's try this gunpowder shit. This IPA, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be dark. Let's see how this pour goes. Oh no, this one's fucking light as fuck too. Every beer is like light. This is a craft beer. Usually IPAs are not this light. I'm very surprised that this IPA is light. Well, it says it's got an orange taste, so it's it's probably gonna taste like Shock Top, but not filtered. If I have to take a wild guess, it's gonna be Shock Top, but not filtered. This pour ain't too bad either. I got it going. Look at that. Bam, 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 bam. Look at that. That's like a picture-perfect pour, brother. That's what happens when you work in restaurants for so long. All right, so let's try this gunpowder. All right, Scotland, you have made the best IPA beer I've ever had in my life. This is the best IPA beer I've had in my life. Scott, it does, how it says there's orange, I do not taste any orange. I don't taste any orange, I don't taste like nothing. This tastes exactly like the Guinness Hop House 13. Exactly the same. It's like a light beer with a little fucking hop to it. A little, you know? A little hop. But, uh, fuck, this beer is not all ogre, brother. This uh, Scottish beer ain't too bad. They crafted a nice beer. It smells like hops, it is hoppy. I'm gonna tell you right now, the shit is gonna hop out of my asshole after drinking this. Cause I'm gonna have probably some nice beer shits after trying this one. But listen brother, it ain't all ochre. This beer ain't too bad. This is exactly the same like the Guinness Hop House, but better for some reason. 
An IPA is stronger. Usually. How strong is this one? Never mind, 5.6. This is a light IPA, because usually IPAs are 7%. I don't know why they call it an IPA then. What the fuck, Scotland? You don't know what an IPA is? Gunpowder, my ass. This ain't no gunpowder. It's pussy power. Because if you were from Scotland, you'd be like, who's giving me this light beer shit? And you'd be like, fucking... Whatever the company's name was, Innis and Gun brother gave you this IPA that's not an IPA. It's fucking donkey shit. That's that's all I gotta say, brother. So uh, fucking right. Stay classy, stay golden, and explore and adventure and new tastes and new things, brother. Cause you know I love my beer, and so far. All these beers have been pretty a-okay.